All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation four to the power of one over square root of x plus 16 to the power of one over square root of x is equal to 64 to the power of one over the square root of x. So to first start off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to get rid of this one over square root of x for now. So to do that, I'm gonna let one over square root of x equal to the variable m. So this way we don't have to worry about it for now. So now if I substitute an m for one over square root of x, I have four to the power of m plus 16 to the power of m is equal to 64 to the power of m. Now from here, I'm gonna rewrite 16 as four squared. And I'm gonna rewrite 64 as four to the power of three. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So four to the power of two to the power of m turns into four to the power of m to the power of two. And four to the power of three to the power of m turns into four to the power of m to the power of three. Now I'm gonna do another substitution. So I'm gonna let four to the power of m equal to the variable u. So now if I substitute in u for four to the power of m, I get u plus u squared is equal to u to the power of three. And this means that u to the power of three minus u squared minus u is equal to zero. So now from here, I can factor out u. So I get u times u squared minus u minus one is equal to zero. And this gives me two different equations. I have u equals zero and u squared minus u minus one equals zero. So u equals zero is already a solution. And now to solve u squared minus u minus one equals zero, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. So in this case, a is one, b is negative one, and c is negative one. So I get u is equal to negative and negative one plus or minus the square root of negative one squared minus four times one times negative one all over two times one. And this is equal to one plus or minus the square root of one plus four over two, which is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five over two. So these are my three solutions of u. So now what we're gonna do from here, let me just write these down. I have u equals zero, u is equal to one plus the square root of five over two, and u is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. Now, recall that u is equal to four to the power of m. Meaning I have three equations over here. Four to the power of m is equal to zero. Four to the power of m is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. And four to the power of m is equal to one plus the square root of five over two. So for four to the power of m is equal to zero, we can't actually solve this because we can't take the power of a number and make it equal zero. So there's no solution for this. And now for four to the power of m is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. Well, one minus the square root of five over two is less than zero. And you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal to a negative number. So there's no solution for this as well. So this just leaves four to the power of m is equal to one plus the square root of five over two. And this is greater than zero, so this works out. 
So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log base of 4 on both sides. And now from here, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. So I can move m to the front over here. So I get m times log base 4 of 4 is equal to log base 4 of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, if I have something in the form log base a of a, this is simply equal to a. So this cancels out to 1, and now I have m is equal to log base 4 of 1 plus 5 the square root of 5 over 2. Now, recall that m is equal to 1 over the square root of x. So now, I have 1 over the square root of x is equal to log base 4 of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now to solve this, I'm going to use the change of base rule, which states that if I have something in the form log base b of a, this is equal to 1 over log Is a of b. So this turns into the square root of x is equal to log base 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 of 4. So I simply switch these two places. And now if I square both sides, I get x is equal to See, before I do that, I can move, I can rewrite 4 here as 2 squared, and I can move the 2 to the front. So now I have 2 times log base 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 over 2. And now if I square both sides, I have x is equal to 4 times log base 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 of 2. So this is my solution. Thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Bye.